Okay. Deacon, you've convinced three different girls to kill themselves. It's high time we figured out who this deacon was and beat his ghostly ass. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Okay. I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, miss. She's probably sleeping by now. Is Dr. Quentin in? He's long gone, miss. You can catch him tomorrow. Thanks. I don't think I need any of these other keys. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. Notice that when Joey gets close to the radio, uh, Dingle Shits McDangle Bits gets a little distracted with the radio. And what you didn't notice is that when Joey did that, I was clicking on this just to try to interact with it and see what was what. Um, it all happened It all happened really fast by accident, I apologize. But the solution to the puzzle is you wait for Joey to get close to the radio, and while the cop's distracted with the radio, you're supposed to reach down and grab the fuse box key, which I've got here. So, oops. Looks like an internal phone for paging doctors or patients, I guess. The sign says I'm not allowed back there. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Good to know. Now let's play with the fuses. Now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Uh... Eh. Whoa, you startled me. You'd better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the elevator for you. Let's try that again. I hope you know what you're doing, doll. You better I don't have anyone to call. Whoa, you you'd better I can't I'll get the Come in. Hi, you better find a The only way to get over there in time is to skip over everybody's text, because while people are talking, that cop will come out. He'll be walking over and he'll catch you. So you've, you've got to skip over what people are saying. She's it's asleep. Stupid. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. What? Yeah. Please. Please! Can't you help me? Please! I don't know what to do! I don't want to burn! Please! The others are gone! You're the only one! Please! You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams! Please! Wake up and help me! Watching, Watching. Waiting. waiting, Susan, Susan, Susan. you called me, you, you can, can help, help me. me. Ahem. Ignore them, Susan, listen to me, help, help me. me, please. Hey, ignore them, Susan, listen. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. 
You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't... You're like me! What do you mean? Dead! Like me! Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes! Well, that certainly saves time. Yep. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No! Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't want to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere, in every shadow, in every corner. What? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. Oops. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Sorry, accidentally my finger grazed the mouse button and I, it clicked. Who is after you? It! It! Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've what? been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. Holy so shit. take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? How? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You killed two people. Almost killed a third. Doesn't that mean anything to you? They called me. Why would they call me? If they couldn't help me! Yeah, that didn't work. I'm taking over. So, are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please! No! What are you gonna do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't wanna go to hell! <laughs> hell, Schmel. You wanna stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to him, okay? <laughs> You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh-huh, yeah, you had your shot. Now it's my turn. I don't believe in hell, buddy. But you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell, or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But you can't! Sure I can. You gonna stop me? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any <laughs> better ones? Let me talk to him. You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far. 
But you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. There we go. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. <laughs> you were right. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! Blackwell runs Doom! It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away! Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. I... Uh, I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. I'm doomed! Ha, <laughs> doom. Uh... Doom. So... What is that thing? I... Don't... Know! <laughs> It haunted my dreams when I was alive, and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. What are your sins? What have you done? I don't know. Please, God, I don't know. I didn't mean to kill those people. It's just I've been so scared, and I don't know why. Please help. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. I used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then he is mine. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down, even as we speak. Ask yourself, 
Does he deserve mercy? Nah. No, you might be right. What? She speaks wisdom, worm. You are totally without redemption, and you know it. Collect yourself, for the time draws near. Please, help! Nah. Don't know what else to do. Please help. Dead one, the time has come. No. No! You said you'd help! You said you'd help! I'm sorry. No! Heed the deacon's lesson well, for he brought it upon himself. Go now, and forget not what you've seen here. Remember, actions in life are remembered in death. We shall meet again. What the f <laughs> Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He was scared, Joey. Scared and confused, and I couldn't do anything. Yeah, well, who says you had to? I was just so useless in there. He still moved on. We did our bit. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. And that was the Blackwell Legacy. So, yeah, I don't know. The first game feels a little slow, slightly disjointed, but not bad considering it's pretty much just one guy putting all this together. He wrote it, he coded it, he put it all together. He uh, hired some artists to do um, the sprite, you know, sprite work for all the characters and their portraits and the backgrounds. Um, he got some voice actors in on it, but um, Dave Gilbert's the main guy. I mean, he's just this one indie guy who, you know, even even the acting, you know, even for people who came in and did acting, you know, he, you know, at the time, you know, he's like, I'm not gonna make any money off of this. Like, hey, do you want to come out and do some voice acting for my game? You know. I don't have any money, but I can pay you in pizza. <laughs> so off he went. There's Rebecca Whitaker.
people are. <laughs> That's Dave Gilbert. That would be the creator. Bob? Bob. Uh, who was Bob? I don't remember a Bob in this game. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Now there's a good note to go out on. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, I'll have you know that, um, well, we got the bad ending. And there's apparently a good ending to this game. I'm going to go back and do it again. But I'm going to add a little something extra this time to the good ending. So I'll see you guys in the next video.